Here we are in chapter one and two summary review exercises numbers 22 through 24. We have the scientific notation arithmetic that we need to worry about an addition, a subtraction, and a multiplication problem. So with addition, remember we need to uh, get like things. So that's lining up the decimals in decimals. That's uh, getting common denominators in fraction and in scientific notation. It's making sure that we have the same exponent. These are different exponents, so that is our first issue. So we've got to take this. We try to always go to the bigger one. That sometimes makes it easier. So we've got to take this and go up one. So that means, remember what goes up? That's left. If we go left here, we've got to go up one to make sure that that is um, in the same thing. So uh, let me see, left up to get the same number. So that's 0.73 times 10 to the negative 9. That's how we went up and moved the decimal to the left. So now let's do it. 0 plus 3 is 3. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. Decimal comes straight down times 10 to the negative 9. And really all that 10 to the negative 9 meant was that the decimal is really 9 places way over here. So all those 0. 0.00000000, 000 um, would have just been 0. 0.0084 and 0. 0.000 with the 73 and lined up like that. Okay, number 23, subtraction. So we're going to place the bigger one. Oh, we've got to uh, get common again. So we're going to take this guy and go up one left, up, so this is 0.49, so 0.49 times 10 to the uh, ninth power. Now notice we're subtracting here. We have the stronger one on top, smaller one on the bottom. So let's do this, uh, cancel from there. 10 minus 9 is 1. 0 minus 4 is too small, 2, 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. So decimal 2, 2.61 times 10 to the ninth. Good deal. Okay, number 24. Now we're multiplying. We don't need to get like things when we're multiplying. We just actually times them. So we have uh, 4.5 times 10 to the eighth uh, times 8 times 10 to the 15th. Now this one, we're going to multiply this decimals and then we'll add the exponents. So 8 times 5 is a 0. 40, 8 times 5 is 40. That's carry the 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Plus 4 is 36. One decimal place, so it's 36.0 times 10 to the, what is that, 23rd power. Okay, that remember we add the exponents. There we go, add the exponents. So 36.0 times 10 to the 23rd. We could drop that zero now if we wanted. Uh, this is not official scientific notation. We have to take the decimal and move it one to the left to make a 3.6 times 10 to the left is up one. So times 10 to the 24th power. So yeah, 36 times 10 to the 23rd is the right number. This last little move was to put it in official scientific notation. Good. 